Can you imagine the funniest thing? <laughs> yeah. My husband's name is Leroy, but he stylizes that as Leroy. Mm-hmm. He older than me, but that's a good thing now that we both, uh, uh, 20 years later, because he about to go and I'm about to hit my prime. Only, he got longevity in his family, so the motherfucker ain't gonna die no time soon. So I'm gonna be miserable for the rest of his days and mine. Praise Jesus. Make sure I get a good angle. Yeah. Lean your head over and say, just, just keep coming. you're trying to look for is you see how the red is showing through your hair like move around in the sun until it like shows through your hair Turn. Now you can turn and like. Look this way. Oh. Oh. Yep. Just like that. Make sure y'all watch my my newest skit. Am I sad about turning 38? No, motherfucker, I'm not.
my dog is older than me. So, who really won? <laughs> Come on here, you elderly motherfucker. A 40 year old bottle of Don Perignon appreciates the value. And so does this pussy. <laughs> See, I ain't been a bad bitch in four years. In four years. Four long years. And I had got my mailman phone number because I'm trying to fuck. And he pulls up in his mail truck looking like Lucky from Poetic Justice. And I'm looking nothing like Janet. As a matter of fact, I look more like, I don't know, Luke Vandross right now. And when he gave me the one over, he was kind of like, ah, oh, here we go. And I know I look a mess. I know I look a mess. I know I look a mess. Hey, Tina Marie. Hey, sweetheart. How, How you, are you doing? But what is it about a wash and go that looks like a fucking jerry curl? Like, bitch, what is this? What is this shit? Girl, see, I ain't making no good impression. I look like shit. And I don't normally look like shit. Girl. <laughs> Looking like Earl. Body like Beyonce and a face like Earl. I want you to know that I don't hate you. And I want you to know there is no beef. But I want you to know that if you cross me again, that I will kill you. Because if you play with me, I will lose it. In my trunk, there is an Uzi. And in my glove box, there's a baby Glock and I ain't afraid to shoot you. I want you to know that I don't hate you, and I want you to know I've moved on, and I want you to know I forgive you, so there is no beef, but I want you to know, most importantly, that if you cross me again, I will kill you. Because if you play with me, I will lose it. In my trunk, there is an Uzi. In my glove box is a baby Glock and I ain't afraid to shoot you. Pistol whip that bitch. He got a big dick and can't use it. Got a bad bitch gonna lose her. I'd rather take your bitch and hit her with these scissors. Listening to scissors. No, you can't get your dick sucked, but pull up that serum. He got a big dick and can't use it. Got a bad bitch gonna lose her. Pop Culture News presented by Ebony here. What's up, it's your girl and boy, baby, back again. And I want to bring you a little piece of pop culture news. It seems as if Pope Francis has now given priests the ability to bless same-sex couples. And I thought that was rather strange given that it's been a sin in the Catholic Church to be gay for the longest. Do you know that if you have a tattoo or you're gay or something strange like that, even if you have paid for your plot, 
and you're laid on consecrated ground, they will refuse to bury you, suicide and all that, because it's a mortal sin. And so you can't be included with all the other good, good Catholics. And so it made me wonder why a blessed man, blessed by the Holy Spirit and by the laws of the church, is now giving uh, his blessing for the gays to marry. And I realize it's because of tithes and offerings is all fucked up. Okay, this is my moment of truth. I use the B Girl Wash and Go brown like gel or whatever. And bitch, is my name Jerry and this is my fucking signature curl? Or why do I hold on, hold on. You can't see how fucked up this looks. <laughs> Maybe uh, I look like my name is Aunt Jerry, and I've been through a few things, so now I like women. And this is just my curl. This is the way my curl looks. I don't have the activator, and I didn't sleep with that plastic bag on last night, and I'm doing the best that I can, bitch. Baby, I am doing the best that I can. Okay, Aunt Jerry work in customer service, probably a Hobby Lobby, maybe Michael's, and I, I cut the fabric. I cut the fabric, and you have to wait in line like everybody else. You ain't special. You ain't special. You ain't. Sp My man has got three jobs. I'm only here for the discounts because I reupholster furniture on the side. Yeah, and I sew. I sew. I sew wedding dresses. I, I sew wedding dresses. Them big, them big funny looking ones that go up to your neck. Cause I'm deep off in the church. I'm devout as a motherfucker. I love the Lord, but I will cuss you out, ho. I like the Starbucks. I only get the coffee. I got creamer at home, so bitch, no, don't put that shit in my cup. Okay. And if I'm not working retail, then I work at the bank full time and customer service. But I don't know what customer service is. Cause you gonna have to wait in line like everybody else, bitch. You ain't special, okay? Now you let now you tell Auntie Jerry your account number, and I'll see what I can do for you. That's yeah. B girl, count your motherfucking days, bitch. Count your motherfucking days, B girl. Count your motherfucking days, bitch. It's Auntie Jerry. And when I first stand up, I gotta walk like this. Cause my lower back is still kind of fucked up. Cause I got sciatica from that time I had my baby 30 years ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. He graduated from my alma mater. And yes, it's in motherfucking Georgia. 
And what of it, bitch? What of it, bitch? <laughs> what of it? Mm -hmm. I'm vegan, but I still eat a pot of chitlins on Thanksgiving because Auntie Jerry do shit like that. Auntie Jerry do shit like that. I don't use facial moisturizer. I just use African black soap and maybe a little cocoa butter. Maybe. Maybe some Vaseline. This ain't a five o'clock shadow. No. No, no, no. This because my cycle coming on and I'm not in menopause just yet. So before my cycle, I get a little peach fuzz from time to time. Mm-hmm. I tried that yoga, but it, it conflicts with my religion. Uh, what no motherfucking Buddha in my Jesus's day? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, they crucified Jesus, but they had a reason to. You heard what that nigga was saying. You the Messiah. Who said? I still believe in the Lord. Praise Jesus, too, because the Bible tell me to, but I don't believe him. <laughs> I don't believe him. I don't believe him. My husband's name is Leroy, but he stylizes that as Leroy. Mm-hmm. He older than me, but that's a good thing now that we both, uh, uh, 20 years later, because he about to go and I'm about to hit my prime. Only, he got longevity in his family, so the motherfucker ain't gonna die no time soon. So I'm gonna be miserable for the rest of his days and mine. Praise Jesus. Thank you so much for booking. Um, of course, this is the answer to your question. I know I just have one question right now. Let me get my phone real quick. Ah, unplug that. Um, okay, so you wanted to know basically um, the energy between the two of you guys right now for you and S. Um, and so you wanted to know the energy right now and kind of like what the energy is for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. Um, I know that... Um, I am doing two for $10 questions right now, but one question is obviously, you know, $5. And I'm gonna do $5 questions all the way until, uh, or until otherwise. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really matter because we're already all booked up, but I am gonna go ahead and um, shuffle these cards <clears throat> and see what I get. So, I hope that's not too loud. I'm just clack it on the table. Anyways, but um, so these cards flew out of the top of the romance, not the romance angels deck, but the angel answers deck. And I'm also just trying to get some energy because for some reason, I feel like with Starling, there's something about that energy that is uh, a bit undetectable. So there's a part of him I feel like that's really open, that's really uh, obvious to you. And so that could be like his, let's just say it's his good side. But then he's got another side, what I feel like that could be... Um, that could be a little bit more like maybe jealous. I don't know why I'm, I'm hearing malicious, but let me tell you something like just because I'm hearing it as malicious doesn't mean like he's a mean person. I just feel like there could be something going on with him in some type of way, like maybe a little bit immature or there's an energy in him that's a little bit like um, like volatile in some type of way. Uh, so be aware of that, uh, this person. And so sometimes when people are like that, what I'm kind of picking up is this person could be a little bit more... Um, uh, be, let me just see. Cause I feel like he is like, I feel like he's all in. So he does want to take this further with you. And, and I feel like the relationship will continue if you let it. But, um, I don't know why energetically I pick up like him kind of being a bit more resistant than what you are aware of. Okay, like, yeah, he is he okay with you going out or is he saying he's okay with you going out, but then he put you on silent treatment for three days afterward. Uh, and so even though he's that good boyfriend that gave you permission, he won't talk to you. He won't, he'll kind of ice you out in order to get you to do what he wants you to do because he's kind of a, 
I'm not going to say he's a bad communicator because he seems to be a good communicator. He just is wanting to control you without without coming off as the bad guy, that kind of thing. So just be aware of that. Like, I feel like it is, um, there's some type of knowledge or information that Spirit wants you to know regarding this. And I feel like every time Spirit tries to give it to you, you may be a bit unaware because of something that's going on uh, externally to the relationship relationships this could be something going on with your family life too so be aware of that like when it comes out like this and you're asking about starling but spirit is like well no 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 starling is just like a symptom of this other thing then it's something to pay attention to because i feel like it's a, a part of the bigger journey when it comes down to um when it comes down to you getting what you like that the knowledge and information that you need in order to move forward in your love life like your love life i feel like is going to continue to go you know uh, relatively well, but the relatively well could be, could actually increase and improve and be the best and blah, blah, blah. It could get that way, but you got to pay attention to this one thing real quick too. Like spirit is trying to bring you together with somebody. And I feel like it's going to be a, a better union for you, but there is an external issue that you need to pay attention to. And I feel like it has to do with family and it has to do with why your relationships the ones that you really want it has to do with why they're not necessarily taken off to me this feels a bit like impatience but i don't necessarily feel like it's impatience on your end this could be like pressure and stuff like that again from like a family unit or something um you know till death do us part that type of thing but the, till death do us part sometimes in those families equal out to oh he can cheat he can do whatever he wants to do and i'll we'll work it out we'll do whatever and you just kind of like sit back and take it this is different well you know so i'm saying it like that because there's this energy of like betrayal over the situation you know some some the energy that i'm picking up with this is like one of the reasons why your relationships are taken off is because there's an energy of like that volatility as an undercurrent and oftentimes the people around us they can see our patterns and behaviors before we do and if they don't necessarily like see them see them then we still fall victim to them because our behaviors are dictated by all the other stuff that goes on around us it's like that idea of repetition compulsion if you're familiar with that if not then you know you can always just google it later but this to me feels like that idea or that energy of like repetition compulsion like doing the same thing over and over again and still wondering like well why are my relationships not taking off the way that i want to but then the ones that you really don't want or the ones that are kind of hard to to function and manage through those ones are doing you know those are doing like record numbers basically like you can you're getting uh you're getting relatively far with those relationships even though there's an energy or an undercurrent of uh strife but i do feel like over the course of the next year uh which is funny because when i was shuffling this deck right here i kept getting uh within the next year also so i feel like over the course of the next year there's going to be a little bit more clarity uh in the cards for you um but right now you are being asked to make a judgment call about this and i feel like this is one of those situations that like it's not like it's a bad thing obviously it's not like it's you know it's not the worst thing let's say it like that but this is something that you're going to want to make a judgment call about because it's got a hold on you uh and it's got a hold on your karma and if you again if you like want the relationship uh because no relationship is perfect obviously like there's always going to be strife in some type of way but if you're attracting in the same thing over and over again and the person that you're kind of pulling in still don't want to do right this person don't want to build the relationship you guys are not able to build the friendship then that's like a bigger that's like a bigger picture of someone trying to hold on to you even though they're not ready so you got four four i feel like spirit is trying to get your attention when it comes down to this and i feel like with starling there's some upcoming conflict with him too excuse me with s uh, but let's let's keep it moving. Let's keep it pushing. Let's see what else we got coming out of the cards here. Because, um, again, <clears throat> when I was shuffling these cards, the first card I was going to pull was this one. Oh, so it's up. It really is up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Let's see. Mm. When I got the it's up to you card, I really do feel like, it, I mean, it is because what I'm getting from even the tarot cards is like it's up to you like spirit is wanting you to to pay attention to the like the, the red flags if you will um let's see what this unlikely is i don't want to make no assumptions but that's like i guess it's unlikely that 
right now what you're going to get from this person is really what you need like i think this relationship is meant to be a fresh start and a new perspective uh but i do feel like there's a need to really be single now i know already that you are obviously still weighing your options and kind of dating around and like uh really like living your best life kind of deal but i get the sense that it's not necessarily the right time for a relationship even though there's that deep uh that deep kind of like uh the deep feelings that you have with s so I think it's, it would be best right now. You got a lot of cards that say, oh, wait, it's unlikely right now. It's, it's, uh, it's not the right time. Be single for a little while longer. And it's time for you like to honestly, like it's up to you to listen to your intuition right now because I think that there really is something better for you uh, that's going to end up coming down the pipeline. But let me reshuffle these cards and see. Ooh, I'm going to get a different deck only because I get the sense that there's additional clarity that needs to be had about, um, about that. Like, you know, because I think that you're getting the right answers when it comes down to, like, your dreams. And for some reason, I get the sense that you're having a lot of, like, maybe nightmares or dreams or tense energies, maybe even deja vu. Um, and so it's time for you, like, to trust that. Like, when you start getting deja vu and things like that, that's when spirit is really, like, talking to you or trying to get your attention. So let's just see. And I feel like they're trying to get your attention because the love that you want is worth waiting for. The type of energy that you deserve is worth waiting for. Um, but right now, it's time for you like to really enjoy uh, the bliss of what you're getting in terms of like reciprocity from who you're getting reciprocity from. Uh, let me just, uh, but we're talking about S real quick. So let's just see. But again, when spirit starts giving me like this general information versus what's going on with S, that could mean two things. But let's just let's just figure out the first thing first. Because when I say it could mean two things, it could mean that spirit is trying to get you, again, just to look at your overall situation or your overall condition because there's somebody that could be in your mix that's better for you than, than oh boy. Or there's a need to like look within, which is still like kind of the same thing. I don't really necessarily get energy of him. But let's just see. Look at that. So it's coming out again. It's worth waiting for. You deserve. I don't think this person is giving you like what you need. And so again, I keep getting. I keep going back to that idea that this person is like, oh yeah, you can go out with your girl, and I'll be here like the like the lonely you know house husband or whatever. And then once you do it, the next day you like, oh let me call him up and tell him about about what happened. And now he don't answer the phone. And now there's now there's like always something that kind of thing. So. Um, you know, at this point in time, like, I think that you are meant to have a more playful, uh, time in your relationship sector, because I feel like with this person, you're not really getting the romance that you deserve. Like you might think that you are because there's really no frame of reference for anything different because it's kind of like, and when I say it's all, you know, don't take that as like, Oh, like, you know, but it really is right now all that, you know, because of the other patterns that have gone on in your life when it comes down to relationship, like, this to me feels like mama, daddy, brother, sister, like that kind of thing. And so you could be like a black sheep or you might be the black sheep or whatever. And so when you get less, it feels normal to get less because of the fact that it's been following you around for so long. But you really are meant to like heal the past so that you can start attracting like a new vibration, a new level of love. Like I don't think that, I don't think that's, uh, S is on your level is what I kind of pick up. You know, you can go ahead and make that romantic gesture and see what you get from him. But I don't think that he's really on your level or you guys are not on the same page. Look at that. And so you guys are, I feel like you're not necessarily on the, on the, uh, on the same page. Like it's time for you guys to release your ex. Your love life is, in, uh, is going to a higher level of commitment. So, you know, when that happens, somebody here, I feel like, uh, and it may be him is what I kind of pick up is that he got to, he's got to kind of like let go of the past. If this is you, then this is like a real past relationship or whatever that may not have worked out. And so, but again, release your ex. This doesn't feel like an ex-boyfriend to me though, honestly. This feels like family patterns, like healing those family patterns because you keep picking up the people that don't give you back what you want. Like if you desire reciprocity, I feel like you, you need some, you need somebody that's willing to reciprocate that's willing to be like a one a one woman man type of deal and i feel like you keep picking up like these people that are um that are that are willing to put you on the back burner because they feel like they feel like you're always going to be there and so getting to know each other like as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond will deepen uh with the soulmate 
So you, I feel like you are in communication with somebody or you will be soon with a soulmate that you are really attracted to. But just know that the relationship that you're kind of going to get with that is going to take some time because you're meant to heal whatever these family issues are that are, that are keep, that are keeping you, uh, bound to these people that don't really give you what you, what you deserve. And so, and it's almost like, uh, also like spirit is saying, well, what is it that you really deserve? They're wanting you to kind of like start to take stock of your life. Maybe let your friends help you. Of course you got a reading, which is funny because there's a little crystal ball in this, in this card, but, um, other than actually getting a reading, I feel like you might want to uh, build deeper bonds with like the, the women around you right now for support. Because I think once you start getting more support, maybe start socializing more uh, and, and, and take your eyes off of the fact that, well, I want to be married. I want the two houses, you know, the two kids and a dog, you know, that kind of thing. Once you start, once you start looking away from that and toward like the real, the real kind of thing, I get the sense that you'll find way more, um, way more movement in your love life is what i pick up here so just be aware of that like honestly the nine of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck that's a card about um being alone being single and i feel like single it's going to change you will you will find a relationship i have no doubt about it but right now you're meant to be like working on your bag working on your career and not necessarily like uh dealing with or trying to deal with uh relationships as a main focus because i don't think that you've been introduced to the to the type of man that you really deserve at that and i, I feel like that does make sense but um i know sometimes that can come out kind of harsh because it seems like every time we go over one there, it, there's always like an issue but this person right here i do feel like there is a bit of uh an undercurrent of issues that could pile up in that relationship if you um if you choose to ignore the signs so don't ignore the signs if something don't feel right then you know that's that's like your answer right there and here's the other thing too like you knowing something don't feel right is like asking for a reading to a certain degree like i feel like you are intuitive uh at this point or spirit's trying to show you how intuitive you are because i think that you're going to start to see like oh i want a reading because i feel like a a little itch in my soul and that itch in my soul say you ain't you ain't acting right and i think that you're right so I'll also text this to you. Thank you again for booking and be blessed.